a low sewer, but in this time we have a nice laptop to repair. It is HP a nice laptop. I mean, not sure. i7 and iRed graphics depends if we can fix it. Yeah, if we can fix it, then it's a nice laptop. Anyway, you should take this kind of job very seriously. So let's read the customer email. The customer is saying water damage. Water was split over the motherboard. 48 hours later, I had the laptop working fine with the battery removed and IEC plugged. Run the diagnostic and was fine. Then the next day, it wouldn't turn on again. White LED flashes. So the laptop wore for a while, then the laptop died. You have to trust me. On a liquid damage or water damage job, most likely you lose money if you don't handle dialogue with the customer on the right way. Now, let's see what I, what I told the customer. Hi, sure, I can have a look, but have in mind, usually when the liquid damage is over the keyboard, the keyboard also is getting faulty. So you are looking for a keyboard and motherboard repairs. Depends on the laptop age, it is possible not worth repairing. If you give me a brand name and model number, I can give you a repair price. Thank you. So by default, you haven't seen the by default, you haven't seen the laptop. By default, you assume you have a faulty keyboard. That's a must. And you will think after so many years of working, I learned these lessons. I didn't. A while ago, I had a MacBook, yeah, so I fixed the MacBook, it was liquid damage, fixed the motherboard, fixed the touchpad, replaced some flex cables. Anyway, it was an expensive one. So, uh, fixed the, everything, yeah, worked a few hours on that MacBook and um, power on, and the keyboard wasn't working. Speak with the customer, you know, here it had like extra money for the keyboard and. Uh, and I don't remember what happened. The customer didn't agree with the price or uh, I couldn't find exactly the color of, uh, because the keyboard, you have to buy it on the M series with, uh, with the palm rest. So uh, I end up returning the job, yeah, charging nothing. Yeah, because you cannot finish the job, you cannot charge the money. Like, okay, I fix it, but the keyboard is not working. So just look at the picture and be happy. No, you can't do it. So yeah. You have to, by default, assume you have a faulty keyboard. More than that, be honest with the customer and let him know. It is possible to be also a keyboard damage and give him the price for the motherboard repair and the keyboard replacement. Very, very important. Okay, good. Now let's move forward with this uh, job. Pressing the power button, dead. I will say, let's open the laptop and let's have a look inside. I mean, what you will do in a case like, like that, yeah? You'll break the motherboard just to give back the laptop uh, unrepaired to the customer? No, you can't do it. So, yeah, I gave back the laptop working. Uh, actually, no, the keyboard was working. It was like few keys was not working, yeah. I gave back the laptop. I haven't charged anything. And the laptop, it's open. Good. I can see the LED flashing here. Huh? Yeah, check that. LED is flashing. Uh, let me disconnect the battery. And uh, on this job, we know it's liquid damage. We know the laptop worked and stopped working. So, uh, must be as the result of liquid damage. Probably corrosion. I can't see liquid damage on this side of the board. So the, if the liquid was over the keyboard, I'm expecting liquid damage on the other side of the board. So I'll say let's go straight and take the motherboard out. Always when you, when you have a liquid damage job and you know the liquid came from the keyboard, yeah, from there you have to take the motherboard out. That's a must. Otherwise, probably I will, uh, I will not take the motherboard out. Probably I will start diagnosing from this side of the board. And the motherboard is out. And I can't see anything. Check here. You think actually the board is, because the, the, you know, you remember the HP, the Lenovo, if the keyboard is faulty, the laptop, it will not work. You think actually the, the lap, this board, it will work without the keyboard? Hmm? Can't see any liquid damage here.
No, everything is looking fine. Liquid damage. I swear I can't see anything. Okay, let me take my glasses. No, nothing, nothing, perfectly clean. Even here, I can't see anything. Which is strange because the motherboard died after liquid damage, right? Okay, I can see it now. Huh? Check that, check that. Quite bad, you know, around the, the CPU. You can see here some liquid damage. Yeah. Let's have a look under the microscope. Yeah, we can clearly see some liquid damage, but we have to take the heatsink out. Let's see what do we have under the heatsink. Yeah, we do have a little bit of liquid there, but it's not that bad. Can this turn the laptop dead? I mean, depends if you have there like a clock line. Yeah, definitely can turn your laptop dead. So let's clean it. Clean, no problem. Yeah, we can check the whole board under the microscope. But, you know, I'm picking up the liquid damage very easily without uh, checking under the microscope. Yeah, nothing. Yeah, all good. All good. Raw memory, everything is clean here. CPU, fine. Have the crystals there and it's fine. Other side of the board. Good. Yeah, everything is fine. Yeah, no liquid damage. Perfect. So we fix it. I mean, you will be surprised, but usually, just by cleaning, you will fix like 90% of the liquid damage jobs. Just give me a minute to put the board back. So the motherboard is back in place. Let's plug a charger. We need a blue pin charger. HP blue pin. Yeah. We need 19 volts. 19 plug in the charger and it's taking like 30 milliamps now it's taking nothing great fantastic so uh, yeah we do have the Y light here we have to press the power button which is on the keyboard right no the, the power button is not on the keyboard it's here pressing the power button Okay, so we have the we have the wildlife here. We have picture. Check that we have picture. Fantastic. Um, let me plug the keyboard and the battery. Let's see what will happen. Firstly, the keyboard. Let's see if the laptop is coming on. Pressing the power button, and the laptop it is coming on. You think actually the keyboard is good? Yeah. Yeah, enter button working fine. Great. Let's plug the battery. Battery is plugged in. And put a few screws. Okay, the battery is plugged in. Plug in the charger. Pre-charge current, pre current and charging current. 1.7 amps. So the laptop it is charging fine. Let's press the power button. Pressing the power button, the current is going up, and it's working. Yeah, all good. So that was the only problem. Liquid damage there, like, you know, a small spot of liquid damage. Yeah, working fine. Let's connect the... Let me shut it down, and you can connect the SSD. 
So we have the M2 drive. We need a screw. Perfect. Pressing the power button. Yeah, it's working great. Yeah, that was the issue. And it's loading the windows. Good, so everything is fine. I'm gonna test the keyboard. Yeah, keyboard is working fine. Keyboard is working great. Let me shut down the laptop. Hmm? So what do you think about that? Just, you know, a tiny spot of water. Was well, not even, you know, nothing rusty there. Some jobs are, uh, are easy. Some more complicated. But yeah, I'm happy I helped the customer. It was an easy, um, easy job. Yeah, I'll not say easy pizza, but yeah. We took the board out, you remember? For nothing, basically. Well, yeah. All I want from you is to have in mind the um, liquid damage jobs are tricky. So be sure you you are honest with the customer and let him know about what can be faulty. So I'm going to stop here. I'll say thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Bye.